Hi everyone, it's Kronos and in this video I would like to be doing the new tower defense. So it's finally here in Dragon Project Global. So basically I made a preview video of it quite a while ago, but yeah, it's a crystal event crystal defense thing. And um yeah, my recommended weapons are would going to be either the Soul Great Sword the soul spear the or then um the soul sword and shield so these are gonna have to be my best um top recommendations for, for doing this i'll be using the soul sword and she um soul great sword it'll work especially well with the yurami because you have the super fast lethal draw charge time and you also have nature's descent the mega maggie <laughs> let's just call it and i guess i'll be doing the let's see i have the advanced left that's anubis that's nura that's gornish so i guess i'll be doing this one okay i'll form a public party and hope people join otherwise i will be soloing it but yeah I'm, what am i using i'm using Hermes blessing gallant fervor heroes proof Iron Wall Spirit Heroes Proof and Earth Incarnations. Okay, but you do not want to be doing something like this. If you're going to be using Shadow, yeah, Soul Jewel Blades will also work, but as the level of the Behemoth gets stronger, yeah, Heat Sword, Heat Great Sword also works because Jump Cleave. But yeah, you also don't want to. I don't know what to say to that, but anyway, I guess I'll get going. I'm not gonna wait for that person. But yeah, if you're gonna use shadow gear, at least use shadow gear that, um, that use the shadow gear of your weapon. Don't mix it with other weapons. Shadow gear makes no sense. But anyway, Maggie's like, oh yeah, and as it gets harder, you'll have more, um, crystals that you'll have to defend but yeah nature as it gets harder if i remember correctly um the soul gate charge time well what is this what is this okay it should be fine the soul gauge charge speed also gets slower and the maggie charge speed so as you can see it's charging pretty pretty very slowly and then you have these time things i think the most useful ones will have to be the um so yeah as you can see you can just quickly slice down enemies or then if you use the soul spear you can also cut them down easily if i remember correctly the maggie charging and the soul gauge charging fill speed is slowed down by quite a bit so luckily we have lightning behemoth here you want to watch out for poison hopefully this is enough to one slice it no. Okay, but these things as well with the soul great sword you can easily slice them down. And in the end, as long as you have at the end, as long as you have one tower remaining or crystal, then you should be fine. And as you can see, they start to move faster and faster. So, if you th think that you're in trouble, I recommend that you ditch all the crystals and work on protecting one. So yeah, as you can see, the Maggies aren't charging. So I would use, I would only use the Maggies once um, you need to use it. So don't go around using it because you have it. Uh, Quad Aegis and stuff like that will also be very useful. Put that up and then you'll be all fine. So you want to be conservative. Yeah, that's the word. Conserv conservative with Maggie. So as you see, you can just jump cleave with the heat greatsword. And you have the amount of waves up here. So that's how long you'll have to survive. Not too sure what the time is for, though. It's probably like the remaining time. And this thing is big. It's still pretty easy to slice down. So like um, 
The Soul Spear also works really well because... What's it called? What was I saying? The Soul Spear works well because since Maggie's take a while to charge, you can heal yourself with the life steal and you don't actually need the heal itself. Which is good. So now we have this guy. I don't know where these things are going, but... I guess I'll go down to the big herd. And yeah, they're all targeting some wall. They're dumb knights. Okay. And I guess, um, just keep slicing them up. So this is pretty much like, as long as you have a good party, it's just going to be like a grind for points. Ouch. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna go up there and cast a nature's descent. Let's just see. I think I'll cast it here, actually. Oh, we can get the load of the herd. So I'm gonna use big AoE Maggie's. So Maggie's like nature's descent or um, nature's descent. I guess Crimson Dragon Flame will also work because it flies in a straight line. I think those two would be the best Maggies. Okay, I think this thing has a Venoma. Yeah. So nature, big AOE Maggies are the ones you want to be using for this. Ah, there's so much. Having um, the Rabot Helm will also be useful because you can get around quickly. So if you have like the fire soul great sword or whatever. As long as you have quad and you don't need a heal or you're confident about health and stuff. Then having that will be useful. Nora for roll distance as well. That's the one bad thing about the soul great sword. You can't move around too well. Just keep slicing. I don't know how waves are supposed to, like, if they're timed or whatever, but... Wave 5, let's see. Okay, so we have, um... Lord Lich. That just popped out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting a Lord Lich. I really wasn't. I was expecting Queen Nervas, but... Yeah, so Jeez knows what's going on with the nature's descent. Okay, I, but you also have these um field mini behemoth sort of things that come out as well. So depending on the difficulty and stuff. So that was um a Maggie increase potion thing. So it charges your Maggie basically. And so this is why I say Soul Great Sword. And just slice everything up. See this Maggie potion, as you saw, it charges. <laughs> it charges it up quite a bit. By quite a bit. And so, that crystal on the left, I'm probably going to ditch and focus on keeping these ones alive. Okay, I think um, we just have to kill that one more enemy and then. Um, that will the next wave it's so time consuming to go around the map so we have three waves left so we have one crystal that's looking healthy they somewhat healthy can't say fully healthy i'd be lying but just keep so if you had the soul spear just tap here soul great sword just quickly cleave What's this thing called? Cleave, lethal draw. Okay, we have a bunch of archers. What is going on? No, 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 no. You can target me. Stop! Killing the crystal. Please. Okay, so that healthy, um, the healthy crystal sort of died. Okay, I'm not so sure what I want to do here. I think I'll cast a nature's descent. Just throw that there. 
hoping that it will clear out most of everything. So now we'll just stay down here and protect these crystals with my life. I swear there's something trying to snipe. Cheeky snipes. Okay, so here we have a Nura. All easy. Especially if you have a quad. Hope they can hit the weak. Yeah. One shot to rage it. Not bad. Don't let it put the barrier up. Okay, all good. But after killing that, those behemoths, you have to remember that the whole point is not to kill the behemoth, but to protect the crystals. So you want to make sure you take these um, chip damaging stuff out because they will, if you're not careful, take um, your tower. And that wasn't nice, whoever decided to walk into that Lord Lich bomb ball thing, poison thing. Okay, but yeah, this was the one of the advanced levels of tower defense battle thing. Yeah, but that was um, tasty. That was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, you also want to stack up points. So that you get all the rewards. I think 500,000 for the armor arc lapis. But yeah, that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.